this dog is about to die from starvation. She's lost her family and now, at the age of 11 months, has to fend for herself. But it's not only her who is struggling to fight for survival. Over 600,000 dogs join her. However, the lack of food and water isn't their only threat. Under current Romanian law, dogs are allowed to be taken against their own will and forced into a kill shelter where they're murdered. Thankfully, it isn't heartbreak and abandonment for all of these dogs. A few of them are freed and taken to a rescue shelter overseas, where they are cared for and given to new loving owners. One of these rescue shelters, the Scruffy Dog Rescue, here in Shropshire, England, does precisely that. The situation out there is as dire as it was in 2012. There are as many puppies being born out there, um, as many people discarding their dogs to public shelters. Uh, we started in 2014 rescuing from a public shelter called P.S. de Cucci. It was built for 230 dogs absolute max and we're now at capacity of just over 500 in the same amount of space in that public shelter. So obviously nothing has changed since 2012. What's your overall goal or mission in helping these dogs? Well, obviously we need to um, address the situation of helping the dogs that are already born um, by rescuing as many as we can. And, and when I say uh, we can, I'm talking about the rescue community per se. That's all of Europe, UK. Um, you know, some dogs go to America, some go dogs go to Spain, but the primary goal must be to reduce the amount of births. But I also feel that there's an underlying trend in producing cute fluffy puppies for the rescue industry that it has become. But we've also taken the cost of a spay or neuter for a family pet for an average Romanian on an average salary way out of their reach. Um, a spay and neuter in a clinic now can cost up to 50 euros and when you think of the average wage of a Romanian with family and children to feed, um, you know, that's probably a third maybe of their weekly budget to keep the family, keep them housed. So I think it's a, you know, an impossible task. Obviously you're doing a fantastic thing here for the dogs, but I imagine at some point you're restricted by how many you can keep here at a time. Would you say more of these rescue shelters need to be opened and a big commitment needs to be made by other people in the effort to save these dogs? I think that you have to understand anybody can save a dog physically, but it's the mental welfare of a dog that's most important to us. And, and that becomes um, apparent in the rehab work that you need to do. So it's not on a base of quantity, it's on a base of quality time that you can spend with each dog. How many dogs have you actually managed to rehome? SDR, as a rescue, um, since 2012, have rehabilitated and rehomed about 1,300 dogs. This is the filmmaker's rescue dog, Gabby. She was rescued from Romania at the age of five months and is now living in a caring home, where she has been for the past three years. She has adapted well to her new environment and is now giving and receiving the love and fuss she deserves. Unfortunately, thousands of these dogs still remain in the streets of Romania. <laughs> 